Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 8.1. So let's get started. First thing I'm, I'm upgrading the system from Windows 7 to Windows 8.1. To prove to you that power is on, I'm going to power it on. I'll be right and I'll show you I can boot the hard disk so you can see it's tiny windows. Be right back after this is done. Alright guys, I booted it up. And now I'm going to show you. So go to my computer. You got a floppy little disk. And even adjust the disk drive on the laptop. So it's kind of neat. Anyways. You want to you want to insert your Windows 8.1 installation CD you have gotten from online. In this case, I'm, since I'm in VM, I'm going to browse for an ISL in my file manager. There it is. Windows 8.1. Okay. What it's going to do is it detects it and says, now, what you want to do is you want to double click it. It just opens. It just opens. It just this screen just double click the setup icon and we'll just install from there. But what I recommend is just close all windows and you get this little Windows 8.1 repairing. Okay. You want to download and install updates? And we'll just get checked for updates. Be right back after this is done. Yeah. All right, it's done. Accept the license. Accept. Keep personal files and make sure you back up your data. If you don't know, you can just hit help me decide. Let's see. I'm nothing. All right. So it's just, if you hit nothing, this would probably delete your data, including your photos. So what I recommend is to keep personal files only. Next, it's making sure you're about to install. So basically, it checks your computer, see if it looks. And I also uploaded 100 gigabytes to the to the local hard disk of this. It's because I have a lot of hard disk space. Now I know how much. This is how much I have. Look, he got a lot of disk space left. Okay, now this screen says ready to install. You won't be able to use your PC whilst installs. Save files and close your settings so all my programs are closed. Okay, now hit install. I'll come back after this is really done. it's really done it took about like an hour I mean like 30 minutes all right so first thing is to pick a color you like you'll be able to press the ball there you get black you can personalize in this case I want like um, blue red for Roblox and I want to hit next and to customize everything you need to you like 
you will need to like um so you can um so basically if Windows is not activated you cannot press on your PC just the sub screen so you want to use express settings <clears throat> like your separate account in this case I don't want an account you know what? never mind in this case I don't really want it so the upgrade to Windows Ooh, I don't have an account but I do but I just don't want to say don't want to don't have an account you know what I'm gonna have to do this I decided to my hotmail instead I don't want to do this now um I don't want SkyDrive now Just finalize in my settings no it's going to say something oh. Hi, I set things up for you. We're setting things up for you. All right, now this is gonna take like ten minutes. Be back after this is done. All right, it's done. It just sets. Let's start. For some reason the background. Oh, everything is synced. For some reason, it has my old. So now it's my old background. I don't know why. It should really sink soon. But anyways, I have the I have this in my old desktop. This is old. Um. So yeah, this is how you install it. Let's see if VMware Tools went along. Oh, it did not. So let's search for VMware Tools. VMware Tools. I guess I didn't find it. So that was the upgrade process for Windows 7 to Windows 8.1. I hope you enjoyed. So bye, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. So we can get my cursor out here.